Welcome to Sports with Charity Chambers. Charity. Sports with Charity Chambers. Now here's your host, Miss Charity Chambers. Hey guys, welcome to Sports with Charity. I'm Charity Chambers and today is going to be rapid fire of the latest news in professional sports. I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on it. I know you want to hear it, so let's just get right into it. First off, let's talk about Marshawn Lynch retiring. Now, he retired during the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl via Twitter. Now, I have the inside scoop on why Marshawn Lynch decided to retire and in the time matter that he did. It's because he realized he's watching the Super Bowl and he's realizing that the NFL is rigged. You guys knew I had to go there. He's watching the NFL, he's watching the Super Bowl, and all of a sudden he, it finally dawns on him that the NFL is rigged and he might have had his suspicions. I mean, come on. In the previous Super Bowl, they decided to pass the ball instead of run the ball with him which on the last play of the game, which aided in them losing the Super Bowl. So, you know, Marshawn Lynch is very skeptical right now. And why play for a league when the outcome is already determined? And that's his mindset. So if you guys were wondering why Marshawn Lynch retired, well, there you go. That's his reason right there. Next, let's talk about Cam Newton. I am extremely upset, but I'm not upset with him. I'm upset at his fans or lack thereof. Some of you guys, I'm sure, y'all jumped on the bandwagon midway through the season. All of a sudden, you're loving Cam Newton now nowhere, and you're praising him. You're getting upset when someone says remotely anything that could be taken negatively, i.e. a couple of my videos about Cam Newton. But now, after he lost the Super Bowl, he made some comments that you didn't like. He's a sore loser. He walked out the press conference. Now, all of a sudden, you turned your back on a man. You're not a Cam Newton fan anymore. First of all, that's fake. That's phony. You need to get your life together. That's not the way to do things. That's People like that are really annoying. You are being fake. You need to stick with Cam throughout this because that's part of it. And honestly, that's just Cam being Cam. Like, he is immature. That's just him. So, you need to quit that out. All right, next, let's go ahead and talk about my boy, Johnny Manziel. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I have a really special place in my heart for Johnny went to a and I was there while he was at a and watched him play almost all of his games. That's my boy. You know I love Johnny. But with that being said, he does need some help. I mean, even his dad said he needed help, and I never thought I would say this, and if you know me, you, you're probably going to be surprised that I'm going to say this, but the NFL is not the right thing for him right now. Like, there, believe it or not, there are more important things to life than football. I mean, life itself is more important than football, and so... Johnny needs to get his life together. That is more important right there. His life, his health, his sanity is more important than the game we all and he loves so dearly. So, Johnny, please, please, I'm begging you, get some help. I still love you. I will always love you. But please, please just get the help that you need. I'm begging you. Next, I want to talk about LaShawn McCoy and this whole incident. If you guys know, he's, been, he's being investigated right now for this assault against two off-duty police officers at a club. I have several problems with this right now. And a lot of the problems come with the off-duty police officers. First of all, you're going to a club. You know for a fact that there is a possibility that a fight could break out. Anytime you step in a club, there is a possibility a fight might break out. Like, it just is what it is. So the report is saying that they were arguing over a bottle of champagne and they were saying that all parties involved were intoxicated and I mean, all of that just is going to end up in a fight. And so for them to really hone in on LaShawn McCoy and say he was in the wrong, I think the police officers, the off-duty police officers are in the wrong. They are just as much in the wrong. Like, what are you doing going to the club getting intoxicated? I feel like both parties are responsible in this situation. And no, I'm not saying it's okay to fight. I'm not condoning that in any way. But you go to a club, like, that's just the risk that you take going into a club. And guys, let's just be, let's just be frank here. If they weren't two off-duty police officers, they were just two guys, random guys, this would not be as big as it is right now. But because they're off-duty police officers, we're going to treat this case a little bit differently. I personally don't think that's okay. They were intoxicated too. That's not, neither, neither side is okay for me. So I really don't think that LaShawn McCoy should be arrested because of this incident. I have one more thing I want to show you guys. Let's have y'all seen the Phoenix Suns bench fight between Markeith Morris and Archie Goodwin. Take a look at this. For the Super Suns fans, sitting in section 208, row six, seat 24. 
Now to me, this really wasn't that big of a deal, but I just wanted to show you guys. To me, it's like comedian. Why are you fighting your own teammate? Like, I understand y'all may have your differences, but especially at a game against the Warriors, against Steph Curry, like that's all they need to see. I mean, they're already gonna beat you anyway, but I mean, come on, like, let's get it together, Phoenix Suns. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel because my next video will be all things Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant from then and now. You really don't want to miss it. I know a lot of you guys are Kobe Bryant fans. Even if you're not, it really will be a great, it's going to be a great video. So make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss out on that. Also, don't forget to use my hashtag sports with charity on any social media. I've seen a couple of you guys actually tweeting that out. So I appreciate that. Let's get the word out. Get some more people to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below your thoughts on these topics. Don't forget to share this with all your friends. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I'm Charity Chambers, and you've just been scooped.